Benjamin Netanyahu, as Prime Minister, came here to this city, to this university, and spoke about a two-state solution. Now, let me, let me illustrate what that really means. There's organizations, there's government bodies, there's countries all around the world who support Israel, who are going to walk lockstep in the policies of our Prime Minister. And the Prime Minister made it a policy when he came here to talk about a two-state solution. So now it's up to Nadia and Yudid. It's up to the Women in Green. It's up to the Sovereignty Movement. It's up to these youth coming in right now from the busloads. It's up to these people in order to right the wrong from Bibi Netanyahu coming here and talking about two states. These people are coming here in order to say there are no two-state solution. There's only one state solution, and that's Israeli law, Israeli sovereignty throughout all of Israel, including Judea and Samaria. What do you guys say? Let's go inside and check it out. Come on. We are dealing with the youth. You know, it used to be that uh, the youth uh, years ago were uh, drying up the swamps or were building uh, uh, Yishuvim overnight, and we hope that it will be many more communities. But today, the, to be a pioneer is not anymore to uh, uh, dry up the swamps. To be a pioneer in 2019, a Zionist pioneer, also means to promote an idea. To promote the idea that Israel belongs to the land of Israel, belongs to us, and that the plan that has to be applied is not a two-state solution, but is uh, the application of Israeli sovereignty. In my opinion, I am here much more to represent, let's say, the majority of the Palestinians, what they are thinking about the sovereignty, and why they are seeking the Israeli sovereignty on the West Bank. Why are you here today? It, it's important for us to, to make sure that Israel is ours, and so we have to start the Ribbonut. Some would say youth are you know, stuck in Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Do youth really have interest in these kind of things? Zionism, sovereignty. I think the serious youth that take Israel seriously and take their homeland seriously absolutely have interest in it and absolutely need to be part of this movement. Let me answer you a question you probably don't even know the answer to, but okay. I want you to guess. All right. How much money and how many jobs are generated by the two-state solution? Uh, thousands, if not hundreds of, I mean, hundreds of thousands. Listen, if you talk about all the all the people who work for, let's say, U.S. aid, or the people who, uh, all the ambassadors, not Ambassador Friedman, I'm saying previous ambassadors, and people at all the think tanks uh, in, all, in the European Union and in Washington, this and that. I've said it many times on Twitter, I've debated these people who basically have made a career out of advocating the two-state solution, whether they're getting book fees, speaking fees, uh, whatever it is to keep pushing and cramming this stuff down our throats. I mean, I've got, I've gone up against these people all the time. It is a business. Tuesday Solution is a business. It's and there's also serious problems with one state. But you know something? I would take the one state problems any day over the two state problems. And let me just give one example, not biblical. Let's just talk about defense. Do I want to have a one state problem? What, quote unquote, what do I do with the Arabs? And we can talk about what that means. Or do I want to have missile launching capability from a hilltop that can knock out every single plane landing in Ben Gurion Airport?